uh, ax squared plus bx plus c. So when you see that x squared as your highest powered term, that tells you that it's a quadratic or a second degree uh, equation. And what those look like when you graph them is they look like parabolas. They look like these u-shaped graphs, okay? And what we're doing when you set this equal to zero is you're actually looking at you know, where the graph crosses the x-axis. That's where the y-coordinate is equal to zero. So sometimes when you solve these problems, there's a lot of different ways to do it. You can complete the square, you can graph the parabola and see where it crosses the x-axis. You can factor it and set the factors to zero. But sometimes, especially with that last example, the factoring might be might be very difficult or might just not be able to be factored with integers. And so this is another um, possibility that you can use to solve these equations, and it's called the quadratic formula, okay? And so you can see here it's x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all, over divide, all divided by 2a, okay? So what you can see here too with these parabolas is that sometimes you're going to get two solutions. Sometimes you're only going to get one solution where it just touches at the vertex there, and then sometimes you're even going to get where it doesn't cross the x-axis at all and there's no solution. And basically what these correspond to is that, you know, if this quantity here comes out to zero, you're just gonna have negative b over 2a. But if this quantity comes out to a negative number, you can't take the square root of a negative number without getting imaginary numbers, so you would get no real solutions. It's not crossing the x-axis at all if you were to graph it. And then if it's a positive, this quantity here, the b squared minus 4ac, uh, then you would have two solutions. So let me show you what I mean. Let's get into some examples. So this first one here, you can actually factor this one, but let's just go ahead and take a look at it. So you can see the A value is one, the B value is one, and the C value is negative 12. So you wanna write it in descending order like that, so you can identify the A, B, and C, and you wanna set it equal to zero. Okay, so if we do our quadratic formula right here, we've got negative B, or the opposite of B, which is negative one, plus or minus the square root of one squared minus four times one times c, which is negative 12. You wanna make sure you capture that negative sign, that minus sign as a negative, all divided by two times one. So all we have to do now is simplify. So what we have here is negative one plus or minus the square root of, let's see, this is gonna be one minus a negative 48. Okay, all divided by two. Now when you subtract a negative, it's like adding a positive. This becomes 49, and the square root of 49 is seven. So there you go. Now we have two problems. We have one where you're adding and one where you're subtracting. So negative one plus seven, okay, equals six divided by two, which is three. And negative one minus seven is negative eight divided by two, which equals negative four. So all this tells us is that if we were to graph you know, the parabola, this quadratic is that it would cross the x-axis over here at three and at negative four like that. So it looks 